Let us look at the fifth module in qualitative research methods which is module 26 objectivity, validity and reliability in qualitative research. At the end of this module the student will develop awareness about the difference in the meaning of objectivity, validity and reliability in quantitative research methodology and those in qualitative research methodology. Understand the alternative criteria for assessing the quality in qualitative research methodology and third the student will learn about the strategies and techniques to ensure the quality of qualitative research study. Let us look at objectivity in qualitative research. Objectivity has traditionally been one of the most important characteristics of any scientific method. There has been a lot of debate on the issue of objectivity in qualitative research as qualitative paradigm encourages studying phenomena through a particular positional lens like postmodernism or feminism. One of the fundamental premises of qualitative research is that reality is subjectively interpreted and so cannot be controlled completely in research. Subjectivity is differentiated from bias. Objectivity is understood in qualitative research as an absence of bias. It is translated in practice by being explicit about one's own positions, perspectives and value orientations. What is validity in qualitative research? Validity traditionally has been defined as the degree to which researcher has measured what he or she has set out to measure. Hall and Stevens prefer to use the term adequacy over the term validity related to qualitative research though it means nearly the same thing that is fair and accurate reflection of phenomenon the researcher claim the study to represent. The sub criteria for assessment of validity are internal validity, construct validity and external validity. In qualitative research internal validity refers to the extent to which the research process will ensure that the emerging patterns and themes are described and explained in all possible ways based on the myriad viewpoints and perceptions of the respondents or researched. Construct validity reflects in the internal coherence and comprehensive and systematic depiction of relationship of the concepts. Construct validity in qualitative research is determined by the extent to which operationalization of research constructs adequately represent the theoretical constructs. In grounded theory, the constructs will get largely defined through the data collection process because in grounded theory one does not go through the comprehensive process of literature review before doing the data collection, the researcher directly goes to the field. Therefore, multiplicity of data collection sources is generally believed to lead to construct validity in qualitative research. External validity refers to the generalizability of studies results to other populations, places and points in time. Some qualitative researchers like Yuba and Lincoln in 1994 prefer to use the term transferability rather than external validity. In qualitative research the more thick the description is and more detailed are the illustrations, more is the possibility for others to assess the extent to which the research results apply to other situations. This is called analytical generalization. Reliability in qualitative research. Brock Un argues that the concept of reliability in qualitative research is closely linked to the extent to which the data is influenced by haphazard errors. In qualitative research, the haphazard errors that might influence the data are considered to be the hasty interpretations without going in depth of the data or collecting enough information you are interpreting. That results in haphazard errors, selective perception 
and presence of researchers biases. There are three questions to assess the reliability of qualitative research. Do the observations have stability or the factors such as the extent of time spent or researchers alertness during that time have affected the perception and interpretation of the phenomenon. Would the researcher see the phenomena and interpret it in the same way if he or she was also observing something else? In other words, does the singularity or multiplicity of focus affect the perception and interpretation of phenomena? This is termed as parallel form reliability. What is the degree of objectivity or intraject subjectivity of the study is the third question that needs to be asked. What are the alternative criteria for qualitative research? While some researchers apply the terms validity and reliability, there have also been suggestions of alternative criteria for assessing qualitative research. LinkedIn and Guba for instance suggest following alternative criteria for qualitative research, trustworthiness, credibility, dependability, transferability and confirmability. Using multiple sources of data and data collection methods is also one way of ensuring quality by ensuring certain standards of validity and reliability. This is believed to reduce the bias. Use of audio tapes, video tapes to record the data helps to ensure that the non-verbal behavior as well as contextual factors are not missed out while making sense of the data. Triangulation, a process using multiple data sources in a research study to produce understanding that is called triangulation can be used to ensure that an account is in depth, comprehensive and well developed. Procedural reliability or procedural dependability, the quality of recording and documenting data by one standardization of certain symbols used in field notes and transcription rules make it possible to separate the concepts of the observed or interviewed from those of the researchers. Second, obtaining reinterpretation and assessment by different coders and analysts. Third, a process of auditing similar to that followed in the field of finances. Procedural audit will look at along with the raw data collection and recording. Uh, things like data reduction and results of synthesis, reconstruction of data, process notes and information about the development of the instrument including the pilot version and preliminary plan. These are the three ways to ensure procedural reliability. Then chain of evidence. Maintaining a chain of evidence in terms of data collection notes and verbatim transcripts is also good practice as it allows the researchers to go back to the data collected and its interpretation to ensure the validity and reliability of the research study. Theoretical saturation, suggested sampling strategy in grounded theory. Maximum amount of detailed information is collected till the time when no new information is being obtained by that additional interviews. This is believed to give maximum scope to see whether the findings of the study could be transferred to other settings and contexts and if yes, what type of contexts and settings. Then there is also a concept called intercoder reliability related to qualitative research. Coding of the data by more than one coder and checking the intercoder reliability also allows the researcher to go back to the recorded data and seek the explanation for the discrepancy found involving the interpretation of the interview data. Intercoder reliability refers to the level of agreement between the independent coders. However, unlike quantitative study where the reliability will be calculated as a standard coefficient statistically, in qualitative research the focus is on practical improvement of the coding quality. It is assessed by highlighting areas where the two researchers coded segments align and where they do not align and then examining the possible explanations for coding variation. 
multiple investigators and reflexive journal. Multiple investigators would give opportunity for multiple, sometimes complementary, but sometimes also divergent and challenging perspectives based on the researchers' values, beliefs and assumptions to emerge during the process, which then can be contested. Reflexive journal is a type of diary where a researcher makes regular entries during the research process the reasons for a particular methodological decision, logistics and his or her own personal reflections during the data collection process. Developing a strong theoretical model underlying the constructs is also a way to ensure quality in qualitative research. This process ensures validity and reliability of the research study by 1. Thick description of the data, presenting simple counts of events can help readers gain a sense of how representative and widespread particular instances are to looking out for non-conforming data and deviant case that is data which contradicts emerging pattern explanation or theme is also suggested as a way to ensure that there are no hasty generalizations and all possible explanations and related facets of phenomena are explored. The constant comparative method suggested by Glaser, wherein the researcher simultaneously quotes and analyzes data in order to develop or refine concepts, identify their properties, explore how they are related to other concepts is also important. This helps the researcher identify diversity and exceptions to the patterns during the data analysis. Partner that is respondent or research participant debriefing. Double checking with the research partners that is respondents, the data collected from them ensures that selective perception and misinterpretation of the data do not occur. Second is peer de debriefing, presenting the data and findings to have an open discussion with other researchers so that the research procedures, processes as well as interpretations and conclusions are questioned. Such kind of questioning gives an opportunity to relook at the procedures and processes to ensure whether the patterns and themes uh, formulated are really rooted in the field data. Thus, to summarize, this module began with highlighting the difference between qualitative research methodology and quantitative research methodology related to concepts like validity, objectivity and reliability and the need therefore to understand and redefine the concepts of all these objectivity, validity and reliability in the context of qualitative research. Objectivity in qualitative research implies absence of biases during the entire research process, being explicit about one's own positions, perspectives and value orientations ensure objectivity in this sense. Validity as some researchers prefer to call it adequacy necessitates consideration to all alternative explanation of the phenomena including the explanation for the non-conforming cases. The alternative terms used by a few qualitative researchers in place of validity and reliability are trustworthiness, credibility, dependability, transferability and conformability. Unlike quantitative research, the validity, reliability and objectivity of qualitative research are determined by each step of the research process from operationalization of the concepts to using multiple data collection tools to interpretation of the data and report writing. Some of the specific strategies are maintaining a chain of evidence, procedural reliability by standardization of recording symbols and transcription rules, more than one observer or coder to assess inter-observer or inter-coder reliability, reflexivity thick description of the data, constant comparative method, partner debriefing and peer debriefing. Though there are such strategies and techniques to ensure quality that is validity, reliability and objectivity in qualitative research, they do not come as standardized, easy to use package format. Understanding what these terms mean in qualitative research paradigm is a must before proceeding to establish validity and reliability of a qualitative research study. With this, we conclude this module on 
objectivity, validity and reliability in qualitative research. Thank you.